Fiction Book Zealot. It's been a while. It's been a month. This is our April wrap up. Can you believe it's almost May? Tomorrow? May. He graduates in May. Looking for jobs. <laughs> Postponing four year college. Gonna go the cheaper route. Okay, <clears throat> when I went to the local, we have one, Little Free Library, there was a gentleman there in one of the seats under the pergola asking me what I was doing. So I explained to him, leave a book, take a book, even though I had a pile of books <laughs> and didn't take a book. So this gentleman was a Vietnam vet and he had written a book. And this one is called Thank God for Angels. It is actually, I'll try and take a picture of it. It is actually the same cover as the book that I found on Goodreads. So I'm not sure if this is like an excerpt of that book. I'm not sure. Anyways, it's basically a memoir and all the things that had happened to him in his life where he most likely should have died, but didn't die. So that was, it was an interesting book. His name is Louis C. Mounts, and I will be passing it on. I don't know to whom yet, but I'm glad I read it, and I'm glad I met the, the man who wrote it. He also said that his son reads it, or has read it, recorded it, put it on YouTube. I'll try and find that link and include it below. <clears throat> Do you want to can, go next? Do you want me to, okay. Um, a Year in Mitford, finished this one. I did not like this one as much as the others. I noticed that there are certain topics that the author is starting to get into that I don't think should be in a Christian book, even though I think I don't think they're Christian, the whole other story. And the cussing. And mind you, they're not F-bombs, but there are still cuss words in here. And I noticed in the book after this, the same. So I think I'm going to be unhauling the series when I finish. Um, this one is actually a book to be discussed and reviewed on Truth Be Told. And this was fantastic. How the foods we eat affect our brain, our behavior, uh, emotions, health as a whole. Great book. This is a keeper. <clears throat> I started this one sort of midway through for an online book club that I found and they were they chose this to read this and I thought oh I have that book I'll just pick it up what am I thinking no I, I have enough books to read so I didn't get very far I only got to page 76 and I started thinking really I understand that this man is stuck in a hotel and there's not a lot to write about however is he really going to gallivant around, sneaking in different places with the little girl? Mm, not totally believable. Oh, this book. Okay, this book has been really hard. This has been a really hard book to read. I am about a third of the way through. And yeah, I'm on chapter 20. This man had no redeeming qualities at all. He is a butt. He is, was a butt in every aspect of his life. Zero redeeming qualities. I don't like him. I don't want to read about him, but I will continue because Prometheus wants me to read this, so I will continue. So, obviously did not finish it this month. I will set it on my nightstand and I'll just pick it up and read it periodically and hopefully get it finished by the end of the year. 
then the buzzword stars, the buzzword I believe was galaxy. I did not even pick this up. I had a feeling I wouldn't even pick it up and I was right. I had started it though and it didn't grab me so I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen with that one. And what to eat. I don't know if it was February that I had started this. I didn't even pick it up. I don't, I don't think I picked it up in April. April was a really hard month. Um, do you want me to say? Okay. It, April was a really hard month and we are still, still dealing with the emotions of what happened anyway. Um, but I'm halfway through, probably a little bit more than halfway through based on the notes. Yeah, I'm more than halfway through. Um, but there were a lot of chapters about fish. Oh my goodness, there were a lot of chapters about fish. And even though there's a lot of good information in here, I'm not sure that I will be keeping this book. I will probably be passing this one on. And that was my April. How was your April? My April was considerably less exciting. The End of History and The Last Man by Francis Fukuyama. I probably read two chapters, maybe three. And it talks about a man named Hegel. Universal History and, yeah, Hegel. And Hobbes and the Leviathan, mm. and different concepts of humans, what makes humans human, and... What makes them tick? <laughs> yeah, and what makes one human different than the other. Interesting. The difference between slave and master, so ah. different things like that. We have another book by him. Yes, should be somewhere over there. Yeah, it is over there. Something about the politics of man, or something? Mm. This... This author was recommended to us by... Shazam. Yeah, Shazam, and I can't remember the name of his channel right off. <clears throat> I actually found out about him when I was... We hadn't even... We weren't even on BookTube at the time. I had stumbled across BookTube. I was researching a book, found this young man's channel, and he was doing videos on... Um, what's the name of that book? The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. <laughs> that one. Now, that's not my style of book, but because this young man was doing the reading of the book, <laughs> he cracked me up. So I subscribed to him. <clears throat> Found out BookTube was a thing. Anyway, so he had recommended Francis Fukuyama to us. And I found two of these books and bought them, and Prometheus has started this. Have you started the other one yet? No. Okay, so, and I haven't even picked up either one of them because, you know, I already have my TBR set. Yeah. That's it. All right, that's it. That's our April. We will get our May uh, plans, plan video up. And we also have a book haul video coming up. We're waiting for three more books to arrive. Oh. So, well, I hope you all are having a better month, had a better month, and come back and visit us. Thank you for visiting us on this video, and leave a comment below. Let us know how you're going, how you're doing.